I know that this market has been very volatile. And then this morning we made money really quick and you wanted to go back after something right away. And I screamed. No, no, I, mean, I didn't. But it looked like, you know, sometimes when we were doing BA and it would look like it was set up again. So that's what some, no, I'm sometimes talking about I try and look at that. No, I'm talking about the spy this morning, though. Yeah. I mean. But that's what I mean. It looked to me like it was setting up to go down again. Like it was just. But you just made your goal for the day. Yeah. You made your goal for the day in five minutes. And last week I closed the room. Things have been halting. Look at BA today. Things have been crazy. Like you did. Don't do anything other than what you would normally do. No. And, and you know me like I. Uh, so I just follow you to the ladder. That's what I do. But sometimes like with all the things going on, I'm like, oh, maybe, she, you know, I wonder if she sees that or I wonder or I wonder if I'm right. Like well, I, I wondered if I, I do was right. I see things sometimes, but I also know that every time you take a trade, your potential at risk for that trade to not working. And once your goal is in for the day, then your goal is in for the day. Like we did it. That was perfect today. And I wasn't even going to do anything. And then we reversed. So then we did it. So I'm just saying, get your head on straight this week because, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I, I know. all right. Okay. So what are you doing with the options here now? As far so as I have a lot of week? options. I took, um, I was, I was in a couple from last week that I was holding. Yeah. So the spy that cues the banks, all the banks. And then what I did today was it looked like everything was headed down again and they had just, they just rallied back a little bit. So I took another contract. So I mitigated the original price that I bought it at last week. Okay, so you did last week's trades. You let yeah. it ride on out. Actually, Friday into the close, things things started going positive. I don't know if you noticed that or you were watching. I didn't. Friday into the close. That's when no, it was selling off because I actually what I did on Friday it was Thursday yeah, that everything started positive. rallying. Yeah, the puts were going positive Friday into the close. Oh, I had called. That's right, yeah. and the only one that I was really. A positive a good amount was the spy so what i did was i had a spy i think it was i think it was 280 yeah and i got out of that i booked a couple hundred dollars profit for, i just had one contract mm -hmm. and then right so at at 355 i took another one. Oh, you're talking about friday you did this i did that on friday that's right everything else wasn't green enough for me to want to get out i wasn't up enough you know, if it's over a hundred dollars, then then I'll consider getting out of it. But, but like you know, the cues, it was like fifty dollars. So I'm like, no, I'm gonna hold it. But the spy was up enough for me um, that I'd taken earlier in the week with you. It was the two eighty put that I got out of that, and then I took a two. I'll tell you what. I took a two sixty. I took a no a two twenty eight. I took a two twenty eight put. Okay, when did you do that? I did that Friday at oh. 3.55. Yes. <laughs> so what I do, I, I did that a lot with BA. I get out if I'm up like a couple hundred dollars and then I quick take another one. Okay, all right, all right. So then meanwhile, today's trades, did you do, did you get out of any? Did you hold any? Are you in them? What did you do? No, I was wait. I really thought we were going to have a big sell off uh, when it was heading down at, at noon. So I, I just held on and then everything went up and I'm like, what, what's I going know, on? And then I found out that again. Schumer said we're close to a deal and I'm sure that's why it went up. No, but then we're, then we, we're dropping again now though. Yeah, well, I'm watching it. You know, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not out of anything yet, but I'm, I'm watching it. Well, you could have immediately got out of the one Apple actually with the fast I could. Drop. Yeah. I'm still up in that. I, I'm yeah, still yeah, yeah. up. I mean, everything. But I mean, honestly. Okay, so you did today's. I did. Okay. I, I did not do Amazon, and I did not oh, do. Some of them were Google. really expensive. I know. Yeah, I, know, I, I mean, know. Google was thirty bucks. Yeah. Was, so, yeah. but I was in enough of other things. Like I still have all the banks. Okay, you so, could have. What you could have done is waited for the big sell off in the banks, which I said the banks are going to have a big sell off. Or you could have yeah. taken everything off really quick that within that one period, like when they all right. went, then you could have just gotten out of them all, even though they weren't like all hundred percent. You could have just wiped them all out in like one swoop. So that's right. another way you could have played it when I do that sector. But it's fine if you're still in them. Either way, they're dropping or they did drop today too. But anyways, long story short, um, just just. Just don't start to get piggy about things or lose conviction. There's two things. One, don't get piggy about things. And two, don't lose conviction when you're listening to the news. Because the problem is, if you are, 
it, it's like a it's like two things I'm trying to explain. If you're getting piggy listening to the news when everyone's saying fear, anxiety, and we're gonna like the world's gonna end, then you right. wanna get a pig piggy about stuff and you don't book any profits when you're up. Then the other extreme is if you listen to the news and you listen to some things that say a deal's gonna pass, once this passes, we're gonna rally, this is the bottom, then you may kill things right necessarily and then take losses and things that are going to be going to work so it's like i everybody's kind of in this different quagmire here where you really just have to get your head on straight about whatever you're doing because if you're listening to the news then you could be thinking one extreme or the other and you really have to focus on the charts and you really have to focus on the gap analysis and you have to focus on what we're doing because if right. you're not you could think one extreme or the other extreme and so that right. is, either one is problematic like be normal as far as what we look at in the charts and if you watch the news and you see it getting in your head then i'm not saying don't be aware of what's going on but but the reality is that shouldn't be the driver for you because i do not have 100 percent conviction that this market's going to rally once a deal get passed and the reason that i'm saying that is because of the fact that the market has not rallied on anything that has occurred no. so it this, hasn't held anything no e no even yeah. no and you were saying that this morning even even in gaps up it, it never holds yeah uh we start down, it goes up, and we get a piece of good news, and it goes up for a minute, and then it's back down. Right. So, yeah. So, no, I have not lost conviction. And I'll tell you, the time that I didn't, uh, the, uh, what solidified it for me was two weeks ago when we had the big sell off, when I made all that money in one day. Well, it wasn't yeah. one day, it was options over a week. I didn't close out of anything, I held it, yeah. and, and it paid off. Yeah, so. it paid off. Yeah. No, that was the day. That was the Thursday. That was the Thursday when we collapsed and we opened in yes. the morning and then we tanked. But you yes, I was in Philly. I was in Philadelphia. And yeah. I said to Ben Thursday morning, I said, I'm out of everything. I was up up $17,000 and I can walk away and I'm good. Yeah, and that was five. You did a great job. How much yeah. did you have at risk to make that seventeen grand? you have been doing one contract of everything? Uh, Yeah, but like, to, like, and sometimes I do two. Uh, it depends. Like, to, when I... When I when I bought those spies and Qs and a JP Morgan, so they were a little bit cheaper today, and I saw that it was like you always said, go with the you know watch the way that it's going. Yeah. I saw that it had started down, so I picked up another contract to mitigate my money, so that you know, and that and that's what I did. I think that that uh, week that I made all that money. The usually the spies and the Qs, I'll I'll definitely take a second contract. Yeah, well, they have been pricey too. And really yes, they limited, have. But yeah, okay. All right, so that's fine. Um, yeah, that was fantastic. I mean, so what is Ben saying about this? Because, I mean, the amount of money that you've made so far this year. <laughs> well, you know, like every time he tries to give me a little bit, oh, well, you should get it. I'm like, look, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back off. I'm good. Don't start telling me to get out. And, like, his big thing is, and I, I, just, I turn him off because he'll say, well, you know, you're red. But there's some there's some there's some money left in the option. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I've done it too many times where I've killed it, yeah. and then myself. Yes, exactly. So I, I'm not doing that. Yeah. I, I would rather kiss a goodbye than to lose that chance. Yeah, and then that screws. <laughs> it actually strengthens your conviction when you continue and you just believe in it, believe in it, believe in it. Now, Bowen, yeah. let's talk about that. Let me just pull up my chart for that. I Bowen. personally wasn't even paying attention at the moment they halted it then i saw it then they halted it um like i'm looking at this here now that when you look at the chart here i understand that it had a pop after the news which i thought was odd too but again we don't play news i didn't call any new ones in this today again the one either works or it doesn't but i will say this though that this is this to me is not a big rally just so you know like this isn't i know as far as you say well it just rallied nine dollars or whatever but like literally this is nothing like to me this the stock looks dead it still looks dead it looks dead as a doornail right. and i i wouldn't be surprised if this falls tomorrow i don't know why it's rallying on news it's bad but we don't play news anyways but anyways long story short this to me is nothing as far as the rally i know it rallied nine dollars okay. but this stock has lost more than 50 percent of its value in the last two I weeks know. so you know and how can, i mean the only thing like i was just trying to figure out so either there's a lot of activity of people Buying, buying the dip or selling, I, you know, well, you and, and that's covering. why it popped. You have a little shorts bit, covering. But. You have shorts covering, and 
you also you have shorts covering and then also you have people that like to buy bottoms so that isn't going to end anytime soon right. so that's what's happening there and there really weren't any days in there so far that that's been happening that stock so i guess i'm not surprised that that's happening today except for the fact the news was bad and my anticipation was that it was going to fall after the news but again it doesn't it doesn't matter because again it's either going to work or it's not going to work for the for the for the Boeing one. Really, that didn't do anything this morning when it opened. Until then, the news. no, did it? Yeah. So it, I, it did, did sell a little bit, you know, before noon, and then, and but you know, and I thought, but it seemed like it was lagging behind, like the spy and Apple. M maybe because there's more know, people that are gonna, willing to get out of those. I don't know. Like Boeing isn't going to rally and have a sustained rally, and then have the and the market's going to collapse. Like that's not going to happen. Just like you're not going right. to have the banks collapse and not have the market collapse like do you know what i'm saying like it's it, it, yes. you know so it's just you have to kind of yeah no I, i'm yeah. in for the ride i got every, you know i got all my 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 um puts and i'm just in i have an apple i have one apple that i bought this morning mm -hmm. i have two bas i bought one last week and i bought one this morning uh i have a city um i have a diamond i have let's see Goldman Sachs, mm -hmm. uh, J.P. Morgan, I have two. Microsoft, I have one. Mm -hmm. The Q's, I have two. The Spy, I have two. Mm -hmm. And Wells Fargo, I have one. Okay. All right. Very good. So I'm pretty much spread out and just waiting. You yeah. know, like you know, I, I maybe would have gotten out at 11:35, um, but I was I was working out online. <laughs> no, I mean I'm not. You know, in these kind of situations, like again. Uh, Either, either either you have a plan of action where you're going to get out at a certain point of percentage or you're going to wait for more of a move. And I think that's something that you have to think about what you're going to do and what the expectation is and how the chart looks. But I, I know, like I said, there's two different schools of thought going out there right now where people are seeing the extremes and you kind of like, for me, like remember the message that I emailed that I sent? It was the day before. It was the 12th. It was the Wednesday before. I said, make the market pay you. Yes. Make this market yes. pay you. And then and it was like I ordered it to happen. Like I waged magic wand and it happened yep. immediately the next morning. So, I mean, it's, it you know, it's like that. And like you said, the market's lower. So, you know, I, and I believe that because what really, I mean, they're, they're so, t so as of today, there's no injection in cash. We're still all where we were a week and a half ago. You know what I mean? So it, it just makes me, so no matter what comes out of, the media for a minute it might make something pop a little bit but it, it doesn't change the weakness in the chart that's right that's right so just so. stay focused continue booking money you're you're yep. so far ahead this year like the where I you am. thought you would be there's there's nothing you can do wrong you know so just as long as you stay focused on as long as your risk is normal and you yep. and you keep booking money and you stay focused on the gaps you can't either. You can't make any mistakes the way I'm calling these trades, Jackie. Right. No, I know. And I mean, even even, even the day trade. I mean, you know, we're we're green already for this week. So, <laughs> and it took us five minutes, Melissa. It's like the good old days. Five I minutes. I know. That's what we're gonna do all week, which I'm which I'm thrilled about. So, anyways, <laughs> are you still? I wanted to ask you because you're a nurse. Are you still working your other job, or are they closed no? Or what? So, right, I I retired in October. I remember I told you I wanted to. Because what happened I was my you still youngest part -time, son. Part time somewhere, I thought. I was. I was working part time at two different places. And actually, I I I was a head and neck nurse practitioner. So like this this whole thing would have been we would have seen a lot of it, right? Because they swab up the nose. So and it's sore throat. And but you know, it's crazy. And you might think I'm crazy, but I think that this went through my house already back in December. The virus. Yeah, because what? my son Seamus, who's twenty, uh, he's twenty-four. Mm -hmm. He was sick for two whole weeks. He's normally healthy, but he had something that kicked his butt, yeah. and he had fever, sweats, sore throat, and then my Deirdre had it, and we all had varying degrees of it. And I said, you know, when they start testing for antibodies, I really want to know because Ben goes in the hospital every day. They have a patient in his hospital that has it. Um, he hasn't had an interaction, but we've all been not good healthy. So, so I don't know. When, I, when think, got sick, though, I think I went through my house. So when your son got sick, though, he did get better. He did. Yeah. yeah, because he's healthy. He's a young, healthy guy that works out. You know what I mean? But he was he was on his back for two weeks straight. Wow. Yeah. And then Deirdre had it. She thought she had my Deirdre is 
um, 18, went to her date dance, and they went to eat Chinese food. She thought that she had food poisoning, but it lasted three or four days. She had all the GI symptoms. She had sweats. She had fever. So who knows? Who really knows how long this has been around? Yeah, interesting. You no. Know? So and then I now? was really, I was trying to text you today about what Israel's doing is they're saying, keep all the businesses open. Whoever is uh, prone to like pre-existing condition or who has a, 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 a fragile immune system, they should quarantine. And then all the businesses are open. I don't know what they're going to do. And, well, I think they're going to do that because other than that, this is going to destroy our economy. It's going to. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. No? So you retired from all your nurses jobs in October. I did. Yeah. I'm done. So you're trading yep, full time. I am a stay-at-home mom just like I always wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> and a trader. I'm a trader. That's right. Well, that's great. I forget now. When did you do the class? Oh gosh. It's over a year. 2018. I the class I believe it was September of 2018. Yeah, 2018. Yeah. It's a little over yeah. a year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're doing great. So every day I learn in the class and I know more now, like I feel more comfortable and, you know, I kind of know how to m mitigate things. And so, yeah, I mean, I'm just, and to go over my, I love going over my notes. Sometimes I wish you'd offer a quick, like some sort of refresher course, you know, not the whole two day thing. I know, but I'm like, honestly, I'm, I was planning on lecturing this morning. Cause I said, you know what, yeah. this week I'm going to have the room open. I'm not going to have any trials. And then if we don't do anything, we'll do lectures. And I could have done that last week, but actually I was trying to get, I was out last week trying to get stuff. And it was like, yeah. if I didn't have last week to go out and get stuff because things were getting worse here with people running around. So I like, I needed the time last week to go out and get my own supplies. Yeah, you did. And just, you know what? Every time you pull back, uh, your focus is that much stronger. Like you had a couple, we had a couple of Mondays where there was nothing in. So you, you didn't, we didn't trade. You kept the room shut or something like that. And you came in and we just were a boom, boom, boom. And that's <laughs> what you've been now, you know, same thing. You, you said you need, you, sometimes you need to take a step back to take two steps forward. Yeah, so. exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you're doing fantastic. Keep it up. Tell Ben yeah. to take a chill pill. <laughs> and I, I tell you, I real I love your lectures, like even post-market. Like I, I'm always watching and looking and because, you know, it just, it solidifies everything that goes through my head at that moment. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, t this morning was wild. I don't know if you yeah. did any of that stuff this morning while it was going on. Cause I woke up early, I saw it and I was like, oh, we're down big. And also I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, and that's the thing. Sometimes I always think to myself, okay, here comes a sell off. And then it somehow in the middle of the night, it just bounces right up. It's like, yeah. this is crazy, crazy. But don't you so. understand that's not going to continue. Right. It's not the big money. I yeah. understand yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like the hedge fund, big money. It's people that are at home doing it, you know, and, and trying to buy those dips because, you know, they're, they, people know the girl, the kids, friends all know I day trade. They how, tell your mother, how she doing? Or something. <laughs> you know, I'll bust my chops. And you know, they're buying this, they're buying that. Even my mother said, oh, how are you doing? Cause you know, the oh, market was, I'm so going, funny. oh great. We love when the market's down yeah. like this. Yeah. They don't, they don't understand that you're shorting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> cute. That's funny. That's yeah. Funny. So well, listen, ah. you're doing great. Stick with everything. Thank you, Melissa. If you see anything interesting, you know, always send me any articles or whatever's going yes, on. Yes, I try. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I even send you my bar routine in case you want to. I saw that. that. I'm like, I'm running out of space here between the between <laughs> the stocked up paper supplies and food. I'm like, But I'm I was like, worried about you because, you know, New York City is almost like, it's like ground zero all over again. Well, honestly, you know, I, I know you're alone. Yeah. So. Well, I went out uh, after Cuomo talked Friday and they shut down the city. I said, I can't, I don't need anything, but I'm going to go out one more time. <laughs> so I'm like, I have another toilet paper story. So I went, I, so then I said, I didn't even need anything, nothing. So I left and I said, I'm going to go out one more time because then I knew it was going to get worse because he shut everything down. So right. I went back to CVS. My timing is impeccable, not just for trades, but for toilet paper. So I walk into CVS <laughs> and they're, they're unloading more toilet paper at the exact moment that I walk in. So wow. then I got more, I got more. And then I said, what do I need? Light bulbs, cleaning <laughs> supplies, Windex. I try, I loaded up everything, went to the checkout. I had no bags to take it. I, they were sold out of bags again. I oh, that's it. annoying. Yeah. Yes. And then I said to the girl, it was the same girl as before. I said, can I have another one of those plastic garbage bags? 
And she said, well, you should have brought the one back I gave you the other day, she said. Can you believe the girl said that? I spent $300 and stuff, and they don't want to give me a plastic bag. So I, I said, well, I can't. I have no way to get this home. So then she gave me another one, but she she expected me to bring the bag back. I'm like, like oh. seriously, like that was hysterical. So then I then I, I could barely carry everything across the street. And then I got in, I said, you know what? I, I just needed, I'm going to go back one more time. And I went back one more time. And again, as soon as I came just for stuff, I'm like, I don't need to leave this apartment probably at least till like September 1st. Amazing. I think changed. I talked to my mother. My mother's going to be 89 yeah. on the 31st. She still works, right? So she's, I said, mom, you know, you really don't have to go. Oh, well, we, we, they scaled back our hours and there's only three people people in the office and nobody comes in from the outside yeah. and you know you're talking to people that have been through the depression yeah. world wars you yeah. know what i mean like so it's in the grand scheme of things and she's uh, she's healthy she works out but today she said your sister called me uh her friend lorraine had a friend who had a friend who had a friend who was exposed to somebody that had the disease no. i'm like oh my god that's six people yeah, like yeah yeah that's funny <laughs> Well, I think they don't know. They don't know how it's getting transmitted. So I'm, I'm no, really not going to go out. I don't. I have everything I need. I'm not going out. But it is interesting because right. before I, I, I know the market here, real estate wise, is going to tank, and it's going to be yep. very interesting to see what happens. But I'm, I'm positioned well to take advantage of it whenever that is. But I think it's going to tank. I, I'm seeing this out ahead of time, so it doesn't matter if rates are low. Like if the market's going to tank, it's going to tank because some people are not going to be able to. One, people aren't going to want to spend money to buy a big property. And also people, some people are going to default that are in loans right, right now. They're going to uh, just what it is. And so I think so that that is. You'll have your pick of whatever apartment you want. Yeah, that's exactly right. Because you'll have cash. So I'm just saying. Cash is I, king. Cash is king when the streets get bloody. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, Melissa, when this is all over, we should have an America Day or something and the whole world should celebrate. I know, to think that you were in New York like three months ago. Now you're like, I wouldn't get one ten. Billy two York. weeks ago. It was a ghost town. I mean, you know, it you couldn't be any safer. There's nobody around. You were lucky you got back. If, I know. I mean, you were you like got back right before it hit. Like literally. Yeah. Like I, I I seriously. Well the good thing about Philly and Buffalo, they're really not that far apart. If we had to rent a car, we could. Yeah. I mean it's an hour flight, so it's easy. But yeah, we went out to dinner every night. We had a great time, so that's gotta hold us for a while. No, well, everything's closed now, so you wouldn't even be yeah. able to do anything. Well, a lot I've been trying to patronize like so I cook and then one or two nights a week I try and order out to patronize the businesses and I pick up. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah. yeah, you know, try and help you know, you try and help out where you can. Yeah. So. Well, good for All you. All right, listen, I'll see you in the room tomorrow. All right, I'll see you in the room tomorrow. And tell Ben to stay safe. Yes. Where is Max? Pull back for my option. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch. <laughs> All right, have a good night, Jackie. All right, bye, Melissa. Okay, bye-bye.